What's good, world? It's your boy Twiz, and welcome to another episode of Five Minutes of Twisdoms. Five minutes of tips and tricks to help grow your music brand. And today we are on a remote location, Camp Allegheny, right? I said it right this time, right? Camp Allegheny. 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 All right, all right. That's the gain the ain't. That's what it is, man. And we're here just doing a special camp with an awesome group of kids, um, creating songs about positive music. You know, that's that's a really influential now with music being out there because music is powerful. Yeah. And I think Definitely. depending on how we use it, it can um, allow us to really reach the minds of not only us as peers in the music industry, but also the youth as they're coming up learning about awesome things, man. So what has your, been your experience so far in the camp today? Uh, it's been fun. I'm definitely uh, seeing a lot of people um, overcome their fears as it relates to getting in front of people recording and Absolutely. singing and, you know, just really interacting with the kids, allowing them to just express themselves in a different way. Right. Uh, so it's been, it's been really fun. Uh, it's different. It's very quiet here as, <laughs> in comparison to Atlanta. You know, Atlanta's super busy, like yeah. city life, but to uh, come here is very quiet, very peaceful. Yeah, so I'm so. definitely appreciative of it. We talked um, on the ride here as we had some time about just basically having a different ambiance when you're being a creative person and creating mm -hmm. music. How does that affect you? Like what kind of ambiance is a perfect condition for you to really get into your creative mode and start doing things? Realistically, I don't need a lot of... Uh space or just scenery really to be creative right. as long as I have the equipment that I need to do what I need to do absolutely um, be good but I guess the ideal situation if I had to like get up every day and see the same thing it yeah. would definitely be a beachfront type a beach house front. like on the mountain <laughs> yeah like I have to have the ocean view that's that's ocean pretty much view. been like my biggest thing I love the ocean I love good weather right yes it definitely has to be like uh, the coldest needs to be like 77. 70. Yeah. So you staying in the South then? You're not really going to. I mean, far. you know, I might go overseas somewhere, you know, nice. probably. Uh, I definitely want to check out um, Brazil. Brazil? Um, yeah, because I just love the culture. I love the music there. Yeah, absolutely. Um, and being able to just kind of experience that would be dope, I feel. That's awesome. That's awesome. Man. So being that as you have the equipment to be mobile and things of that nature, what are probably some of the biggest uh, issues you may have when you're recording somewhere that's not a soundproof studio. <laughs> that exactly is not a soundproof <laughs> studio. <laughs> so, you know, you can be in mid recording and then you got like an owl like sitting right in the wall. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right. So, you know, um, yeah. and then of course, uh, depending on just certain locations, uh, people might start mowing the lawn outside. So, you know, you got to wait like another hour. It's yeah, like, yeah. I'll come in mid, mid song. All right, this is about to be the perfect take. <laughs> <laughs> Thank yeah. you, that's, that's neighbor bad. John. All is, right. is there any way to like EQ that or anything like that? No, you just have to <laughs> delete it and start over. <laughs> it's a wrap. <laughs> exactly. Awesome, awesome. So what would you say is, uh, if you're just getting started into music, what would you say what advice would you give to somebody who's just getting started or not even sure they want to do music, but they, they, they're interested in it? What would be some things that you would give them advice to get started? Um, I would say try, just start. Um, the biggest thing, a lot of people feel like they have to have the perfect situation, the perfect moment, the perfect timing. It will never be perfect. Right. You just have to start, you have to try, you have to experiment with everything. And eventually through experimentation, you will find your sound, you will find what works for you. Or you might find that you actually aren't really good at it. So, <laughs> but either way, you'll- How do you know though? How do you know you're not good at it? You can play it for a couple of people and, they, and you'll, you'll know immediately. It's kind of like, hey, listen to this. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Interesting. Right? Yeah, that's uh, I like how you finished the song. All right. What? <laughs> finished it. Right. Yeah, you completed your words when you said it. All right. That's but awesome. uh, yeah, that that would be my biggest thing is just starting, um, being able to um, just try it. A lot of people, again, like I said, don't um, try a lot of things, especially as you get older. You have uh, a different type of fear, I guess, for whatever reason of, ah, oh, well, what if I fail? It's like, yeah. okay, then you know this isn't what you're supposed to be doing. Let's yeah. try something else. But I would like to flip that, though. Um, I think a lot of people, I, I kind of don't like the word fail necessarily mm -hmm. because we all fail in life. I feel like because we fail, 
we have this equipment that we have now. Like right. everything that we have is to solve a problem. Mm -hmm. Somebody was like, man, I can't hear my music, so let me create something to make it amplified. Exactly. Uh, some person was like, hey, I don't like staying stationary, and let me create a laptop. So yeah. I feel like you can learn from those failures oh, exactly. into uh, you know, growing into becoming something that's really, really awesome. So mm -hmm. don't be afraid to fail. Um, I think that's something that we do a lot as humans is we are, we're afraid, like oh, like you said, the fear of uh, what if I fail? I mean, mm -hmm. but what if you make it? You know, right. it's like a 50 never know. coin when it comes to that stuff. Man. Exactly. So, uh, you put me on some music, um, Kyle Alexander. Yeah. I actually added him on my Spotify okay. yesterday as I was writing down the yeah. Pittsburgh, man. How, how did y'all link up, man? How, how was that? Um, we met through uh, one of my best friends. Um, they both live in Delaware, and when right. I went up to visit him, he pretty much introduced me to him. He was like, yo, you got to meet my, my homie. He raps. He's, he's good. I was like, all right, yeah, 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 let's see. And uh, <laughs> played me a record, and I mean, I was definitely blown away, and we've been working together ever since. Ever since. Yeah. Do you have a favorite song that y'all have collaborated on? Um, it's it's Hush Hush now, because it hasn't released oh, yet. Oh, so, oh, oh, okay. So, okay. Yeah, it's, okay. I hush, do, hush, though, hush, to hush. answer your question, but okay. you'll, you'll so hear that's it the when it's one. released. When's the drop date? Do you have a drop date for that? We yet? don't have a drop date. We have to finish, um, like I think, like three more records. Before. Can we get a name of the title? Uh, <laughs> it's a G14. It's, right, it's, it's G14 classified. <laughs> G14 classified. Uh, you gotta have special clearance to get back. Okay. <laughs> okay, well, we'll put the link in the description when That's it comes right. out. All right? exactly. That's what's up. That's what's up. Um, so, one thing we were talking about song structure in the creating process that making hooks is a little bit easier. Um, when it comes to making beats, mm -hmm. what do you genuinely find yourself doing first? I usually start off with um, my drums, drums. Um, usually. usually, depending on what's going on. If I'm not around any equipment, I'm starting off with a melody because it's easier to kind of pick it up and start off with the drums if I have like a melodic, um, you know, some type of melody in my brain already True. True. Uh, that's recorded. Or I usually, uh, man, the f iPhone or just the phone, period. <laughs> yeah. It's so many voice memos on there of me doing like <laughs> random. Boxes. Yeah. The <laughs> what I is that? that too. Don't worry about it. I'll just <laughs> let me figure it out. People look at me crazy when I just stop in the middle of nowhere and just really yeah. start beatboxing to my own memos. That's, exactly. It's crazy. Exactly. That's what's up, man. Tell everybody where they can find you at. Give them your social media handles, um, any YouTube information. Let them know. Let them know where the people can find you. Uh, everything is under True Sky. It's T R U S K Y Y. That's Instagram, Snapchat, that's uh, music online, everywhere where you can stream music. T R U S K Y Y. And yeah, I try to keep it as consistent as possible so <laughs> you don't get confused. It's tough, man. Yeah. It's, it's life. Like, people have to understand that it is a commitment. Mm -hmm. to do music like you 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 gotta set up like for me i have a family and, and and you know work and you have to set up schedules to actually do it and mm -hmm. as much as i have a schedule sometimes it's really tough to really stick to that schedule right, right. but don't worry we know as long as you have it up there i feel like as long as people can check out your recent work yeah. you're, you're in good company definitely <laughs> I agree. Any last words you want to give to the people? Any advice? Any gems? Any quotes? <laughs> anything you want to drop on them? Um, well, I, I would say my, my favorite quote and what I live by, uh, it's a scripture actually, it's uh, Mark 9.23, uh, pretty much says um, anything is possible if a person believes. And I take that to heart, like there's been plenty of uh, situations where I didn't really know how to do certain things or it appeared as if it wasn't going to work, but I just right. believed in my heart that it would and stuck to it even throughout everything that <laughs> said it wouldn't. And Absolutely. Nine times out of ten, it worked out for me. And I, like I said, I just believe that wholeheartedly and I walk by that. So that's what I believe it will. Absolutely. Faith, man. Faith is very powerful, guys. Make sure that you believe in yourself and believe through him, man, because all things through Christ is possible. All right, it's another episode of Five Minutes of Twism. It's your boy True Sky. It's your boy Twiz. We out. Certified. Sorry.